peeps be shoveling. They're absolutely hard. Literally can't really get outside of my house. Ken, the other door. The third guy galore, hallelujah. Golf cart lady be whizzing, pulling up. Got the redneck of a toxin going. Different dialects wherever you go. Missouri, Maryland. Whip a snap a buster. A coat that I lost. Finally made it back to the lawyer healing center. Amazing people. Godspeed, Dale. Speed is the anabolic drug. You gotta be on Godspeed though. Light shining so bright you cannot put it under a bushel salt and light to the world value of alert fire and exploding energy to be exuded fixated in mounted with christ being malleable he's the potter we're the clay that even if you do get hurt you're still gonna stay consistent you're still gonna go even if you have to take a break from your dream you're still gonna go at it be adamant having fun with my siblings stupid fort things is laughing all day we'd want to live in that bliss back by eyes today back lower Longest miss laborum. That lower back takes a long time to heal. But just getting the freaking pump, man. Not completely doing strength, really intense, destroying exercises. I'm really good at those powerlifting. I can lift way over my body weight. Over one and a half times my body weight can deadlift. Bodybuilding is just gonna help me. I'm gonna stay consistent with that. Sky's the limit. I'm not just gonna switch back to old things. No, I'm staying consistent with just getting the pump every day. Real summon slight something quick. All good bodybuilders are really good at powerlifting as well. I can see my breath cold. Dylan McKnight in 50 pounds. He literally bulked the heck up. However, after three years, he's getting gains, but incremental ones. 20 pounds of muscle is like maximum for one year. Maybe 0.25 half pound of muscle a week at most. But yeah, but he gained a ton of fat. He did the bulk and it's been like three years. That one year bulk, he's just been gaining incrementally from then. Absolutely no reason for you to bulk up like Dylan McKnight, 50 pounds in a year, man. Unless you're like a powerlifter or something, just want to have your body tap into strength potential, then do that. But if you're looking for hypertrophy, man, just stay consistent, main gain. Don't get into a big surplus. Easy peasy way to get down the calories today. 1,400 calories, a lot of PB fit protein in here. Mmm. Uh. Don't need to get pensive muscle logical. Stagnant, anal retentive. If you build in your strengths, don't. Fix what ain't broken. The muscular baby is higher the birth weight of the baby means higher potential for muscle gain later, long term gains. There is a study in the show. I was extremely heavy fat. So, my dad right now, he, that means I have really good long term muscle gain potential. My husky, muscular dad. So, if I just look at my dad, he's six foot tall, he's super thick. He's a muscular mesomorphic, though. Just looking at him, you know, I can confidently say so, getting long term gains. I'm 17, he's 15 in this photo. Wow, and he was already a huge house. Conclusion on my quest, how did this guy gain one pound of lean muscle mass every two weeks? Success breeds success, I just wanna know how. All the frickin' over the internet try to find the study. In hindsight, you just don't gotta worry, man. As long as you got a personal trainer, or as long as you're checking in with yourself every single week, or just every couple of days, for me, I hit each muscle group two times a week. It means that after the three days of recovery, push A day, I would be testing my max. Say I PR every three days. That's amazing. Your max do 10 reps. And if you can't do any more reps from the 10 reps, then you get your one repetition max from the 10 repetitions. As long as you go harder than last time, you're set. Some way, shape, or form or another, you should PR every training session. The neural adaptions, everything's muscle adaptions should be there. Lost 10% of your strength, you're done. Next week, a couple of days, do the same workout, maybe with an extra set. And then once on that extra set, you do another set and you lose 10% of your strength. You know that you've been gaining strength and you know you just gotta go you do eight to twelve good form reps four sets but the fifth set you lost 10 percent of your strength because it was terrible form on the last two reps you just didn't do them strictly as much time under tension as the muscle can handle train for hypertrophy you always do more than one set that's strength if you just do one set but hypertrophy you get blood into that muscle for growth not strength again time more time under tension for growth over the long run over years and years and years your muscle would have been in a tonus for a very very long time that volume, that frequency would be so high that it would just your muscles would have to adapt.